In this session, we'll discover how the conversion from RGB to YCOCG color space optimizes video encoding in VESA DSC, enhancing efficiency without sacrificing quality. When encoding video using VESA DSC, RGB input, which is a common color space for video and images, is first converted into a different color space called YCOCG. YCOCG stands for Luma, Chrominance Orange, and Chrominance Green. This conversion is performed before any other processing. The specific variant of YCOCG used in DSC is YCOCGR, where R stands for reversible. This means that, in theory, the conversion from YCOCGR back to RGB should not cause any loss of information. This reversibility is desirable as it allows for the original RGB values to be accurately reconstructed after decompression. In YCOCGR, each of the two chroma components CO and CG has one more bit than the corresponding RGB components. This is done to preserve the color information more accurately during the conversion process. For example, if the RGB input is 8 bits per component, the CO and CG components in YCOCGR will be 9 bits per component. For high bit depth inputs, such as 16 bits per component, the least significant bit of each YCOCG chroma component is rounded off. This is done to manage the sizes of syntax elements and widths of data paths within the encoding process. As a result, the transformation from RGB to YCOCGR and back to RGB becomes irreversible for 16 bits per component inputs, making the encoding process lossy. However, this loss is generally negligible in terms of perceived picture quality. If the input is already in YCBCR color space, another common color space, particularly in video applications, no color space conversion is performed. YCBCR is already structured with separate Luma and Chroma components, similar to YCOCG, making it suitable for compression without the need for conversion. After the video has been decompressed by the decoder, the inverse color space conversion is performed to convert the YCOCGR back to RGB, allowing for the display or further processing of the video in its original color space. In summary, by converting RGB to a color space with separate Luma and Chroma components, the compression algorithm can exploit human visual system characteristics where the eye is less sensitive to changes in color than to changes in brightness. This allows for more aggressive compression of the chroma components without significantly affecting the perceived image quality.